What I noticed today was a lot of the students were having trouble, <clears throat> especially when working cows, with making their horses go when they wanted them to go and stop when they wanted to make the horse stop. So what we worked on specifically was making the horse go from a walk right into a canter or a lope. And then we worked on making our horses stop properly. By the exercise we did or the way we set up the exercise was that if you were up to the point of being able to lope, we would ask your horses to start at a walk. And then when I told everybody, they just got their horses going at a lope from the walk. Uh, skipping directly over the trot, that kind of helped a couple things. One, it helps your horse get into the habit that you could ask them to walk or you could ask them to uh, trot or you could ask them to canter off at any time. We want the horses to build up the muscles to be able to just lift themselves right into a lope from the walk. The next thing we did was we had the horses um, all go from into a proper stop. Um, the way we accomplish that is by, from the lope or the trot, we sit back in our saddle as far back as we can, almost laying back on the saddle, and we pull back on the reins to our belly button and then ask the horse to whoa. As soon as the horse stops, they should be stopping on their rear end, which means that they've got their rear feet up underneath them, and they're dropping their tail, and they're getting low to the ground, and they're, they're, they're bringing themselves to a stop. It's much more comfortable for the rider if the horse stops that way instead of stopping hard on their front end. It's also better for them as far as their longevity goes because that hard stop on their front end is really hard on their joints up there. Um, it's also hard on the rider. It kind of throws the rider forward in the seat. But by making them stop that way and getting them to stop underneath themselves, um, it's easier on your rider. So as soon as the rider would stop, we would ask them to, ride, to back up their horses three steps. Um, and we repeated this exercise multiple times, and that got the horse kind of in the habit that every time they stopped, they stopped up underneath themselves and they were prepared to back up. Um, that kind of got them all gathered up and ready to go. It also did some things for them as far as helping the horses pay more attention directly to their rider. Um, it wasn't a matter of the horses just went when everybody else went. They knew that they could be asked to stop at any particular time, so they started listening a lot closer to what their rider was telling them specifically, um, and they were always prepared to stop. Um, I kind of work find that that really works well, especially with younger horses who are just busy watching what everybody else is doing and try to keep up with the herd. If I'm riding along or I'm out on the trail and I'm riding with a group of people and my horse just wants to muscle through and be with everybody else and not really pay attention to me, he's busy riding with the group, then what we want is, is every so often I may just stop and ask him to back up. Um, I may ask him to trot off and leave the group or canter off and leave the group and then turn around and come back. And I'm gonna, when I turn around and come back, I'm going to actually make him walk back to the group because I don't ever want to set it up where he's just running on his own to get back to the group or ever running towards the barn on his own um, to do it that way. So if you guys have any other questions or comments, um, please leave them in the comment section. I'll be happy to address them in future videos if you have any questions. Thank you.